So as that compressor starts up, you have heat of compression. You go from A to B. At that discharge port, that's the hottest point. Anything past that is desuperheated. So as it goes down your discharge line, it's desuper high pressure, high temperature gas, desuperheated to the condenser. When you hit your dew point, this is when you start to condense inside the enthalpy diagram. As you can see, at two, that's where the condensing starts. You're starting to drop liquid out of that vapor, the refrigerant vapor. As that fan blows across the coil, rejecting the heat, you start to get more and more condensing happening. And by the time you uh, hit that bubble point, this is where you have your subcooling begins, when you have full column of liquid. Anything on top of that now is your subcooling. So this is where you have subcooled liquid. From there, you go through your metering device. You have that pressure drop, which pulls you back into the two phase. You have both liquid and uh, vapor, and it's flashing out of that TX valve. As you can see, it just went through the metering device, and now we're back into the two phase inside that thumbprint. That evaporator is blowing air over the coil, and what it's causing is causing that refrigerant to boil. So by the time it hits that dew point again, you hopefully will have no liquid left, and now Here's your superheat from 5 to A because you want 100% vapor going back into the compressor. Hope this gives you kind of a quick idea on uh, how a refrigeration system works. I would love to hear comments below on the diagram here if you have any questions. My name is Trevor Matthews. Let's get a conversation going.